So let's start off by talking about the weather. Can you describe the weather today? The weather today is so nice. It's winter, yet it's still summer, but the, the temperature is uh, acceptable. You can have like a light jacket. During the day, you can go to the beach. So for me, it's the perfect weather. What's your favorite kind of weather? Uh, summer. I like summer. I like going to the beach, spending time with the family uh, outside, uh, exploring. Yeah. Is there any type of weather you really don't like? I like winter, but I don't like to be in a place where it's like minus 20 degrees. I like to go outside, not to be stuck at home. Let's talk about photography. Do you like taking photos? So much. I took a course at the university, a photography course, and I had like 19 over 20. It's my passion. And I have uh, my own camera, my own lenses. I like it. Do you like to shoot people or landscapes? Babies. Mainly. You can play with the display. You can play with the with everything. Like, uh, it's, um, I don't know. I like it. What do you think it takes to become a great photographer? A good eye. And to know how to capture the moment. You have to have it. Otherwise, you will, like, wait for the... Yeah, let's take a pose. No, don't wait for this person to take a pose. Just follow the person and uh, capture the moment. Now let's talk about animals. Do you like animals? So much, especially dogs. I had dogs um, in my life, but uh, my main issue was my mom. So because she used to have allergy, I used to take them back to my grandma. At that time, I felt like I have a baby at home taking the <laughs> dog for a haircut, the, the doctor. The, the, you know, it's, uh, I treat the dog like, uh, like a baby. Do you think that animals should be kept in zoos? Definitely not. It's not their place. We created the zoo. <laughs> so no, it's their freedom. You cannot put them in a cage and where they have to sit there or the birds. It's not their place. Their place is the sky, is the, is the forest, not the zoo. Do you have any animals in your home as pets? Now, no. I used to have dogs, but now no. Because of the weather here, it's, uh, I feel it's difficult to have a dog at home, to take the dog outside uh, for a walk in like 50 degrees. So no, <laughs> I would love to have, but um, no, not here. <laughs> now let's talk about colors. In your country, what are the most popular colors? I can tell you about the color of the flag. You know, we don't have a specific color in the country. The color of the flag is red, white and green. My favorite color is black, so I don't know. We don't have a specific color in the country. Do you prefer to wear dark colors or light colors? Recently both. Before, I used to like dark colors more. Maybe when I lost weight, uh, I switched to uh, bright and light colors. Do colors affect your mood? Definitely. If, uh, if you live in a dark room, you will feel like uh, everything is dark. That's why I like to have uh, white walls, uh, everything white. You feel uh, the house is bright and uh, it reflects on you. So I'll describe the house of my grandma. So who lives there? My grandma lives there. And uh, my grandpa used to live there. Where the property is, it's in the mountain in Beirut, in Lebanon. What it looks like, it looks like a castle for me. <laughs> It's not a castle, but for me, it's like a castle. We, we have a lot of memories there. That's why I decided to talk about this house. If you like it, definitely I do. I like this house, as I mentioned, because it reminds me of my childhood and the best days we spent there and we're still spending when we go to see her. Uh, we have a lot of memories. We had good food. She used to cook a lot for us. The house is simply like, um, I feel like home. I just love it. And uh, especially uh, because it's an old house, it's still the same till now. The second I enter the house, I feel like uh, I'm back to my childhood. The memories uh, comes back. So yeah, as I told you, it's a big and old house. You know, the old houses, you have the, how, how we say it, um, the walls are like, uh, you feel like you're in a castle, but it's, it's, uh, it's a house. The smell of the, the nature, the garden, everything. I like everything in this house. So we've been talking about a house that you like, and we're going to continue to talk about houses. Do you think it's better for people to live in an apartment or a house? 
to thank you for watching this video, I want to give you a free course that has helped thousands of students improve their IELTS speaking score. What it's going to do is take you through every single part of the test and give you strategies for part one, part two and part three, and also allow you to practice at home for free and get feedback. To sign up for that for free, all you have to do is just click the link in the description. Thanks very much. And let's get back to the video. For me, it's better to live in a villa than in an apartment because when you have babies one he will wake up he will wake up the other one so it's easier to live in a villa and it or in a duplex to separate the do you think it's better for someone to buy a house or to rent uh, it depends if uh, the prices are high like now it's better to wait because uh, they will go down so wait until you find the right time to buy. But definitely, yes, I'm with the buying. I'm not with the renting thing. I feel like I'm losing my money. Do you think that there is a certain age when someone should move out of their parents' home and move into their own home? Uh, for me, it's like when I got married, I moved. We don't have uh, this in Beirut. Like at the age of 18, we have to move or we have to have our own apartment. No. At the contrary, I enjoy spending time with them. So what I'm going to do now is give you some feedback. We did one before and, you, and you've come back. To thank you for making it this far in the video, I want to give you 10% off our VIP course. The IELTS VIP course is the most successful IELTS course in the world. That is a fact because we have more band seven, eight and nine success stories than any other IELTS course in the entire world. We do that by simplifying the whole IELTS process, supporting you with some of the best IELTS teachers in the world and being with you every step of the way until you get the score that you need. All you have to do is just look down in the description, just click that and you can sign up. If you have any questions about the VIP course, always feel free to get in touch with us. We answer 100% of the questions that we get. Hope that you have become a VIP. If not, enjoy the rest of this free video. Your, your grammar is good, your vocabulary is good, your pronunciation is good. We really focused on um, coherence and fluency um, in the last one. Overall, your fluency and coherence was quite good. At times, you were searching for the correct word and that affected your line of mm. thinking and you would maybe avoid that. I think, again, you should not be afraid to paraphrase and explain the thing and say, I don't know the word for this, but th th yeah. explain what it is. I think because you live in in the Middle East, you can often use Arabic words maybe and say, well, in our Ar Arabic, it's it's this. Yeah. And people <laughs> will know, even English speakers would know what, what, I'm saying. what, what you're saying uh, and of course, more people here speak both English and yeah. Arabic and, and then French and, and things like that. So maybe you're just not used to operating 100% in English. Yeah. And um, that could be an issue. But overall, you, you, you did well. One thing that you did in part two was you looked at the cue card and you just said, who lives there? Started talking about that, where it is, what it looks like. Explain why you oh, like I it. I'm, uh, I'm answering uh, the yeah. question. <laughs> you are very capable of not look looking yeah, you, not right, exactly. looking at this at all but you I didn't want to skip any question yeah but you don't you can skip them you yeah. so this is just a guide to help you but a better way of doing it would be talk to me like I'm your friend or your colleague and just talk, use this when you get stuck yeah when people are looking down and looking at this and reading they sound less fluent what also happens is you were getting through each of these very quickly. Mm. So then at the end, when you when you had nothing else to talk about, then you back have to, to think a lot yeah. <laughs> and that affects your fluency. Back to the same idea. And then you yeah. repeat the same idea yeah. and everything. So if you were doing the test again, I would say just practice not using these too much. Yeah. And then part three, overall quite good but you generally just gave your own personal point of view. Yeah. So you just said, I think this. Yeah. All right. A way of developing your answer a little bit more would be, okay, so I think that buying a house is better because I don't want to give money away to landlords, but I can see why some people would prefer to rent because there's a greater freedom with rent. So if you rent a place, you are not tied to that location and you can leave mm. at any time. So there's a lot of benefits to that. But the drawback is, is you're wasting a lot of money. 
you were giving very straight, good, good answers outside of this test. If you gave those answers, totally fine. Yeah. But because this is a test that they wanted you to develop your ideas yes. and talk about what, what is going on, that, that might hold you back a little bit. You, there's nothing wrong with your English. Yeah. You, you gave a very interesting performance and I think it's very useful for people to see this video because it shows that someone could have very good English, mm. a very high level, but they're not used to the format of the test. Mm. And that can lead to them getting a lower score than they believed that, the, that they oh. were capable of. Because IELTS is not just having great English. It's learning the format of the test and giving the examiner what they want. Yeah. And you just have to learn that a little bit more. It just comes down to practice. Yeah. Half a day of practice and you would be, <laughs> you know, you, you would be ready to get the score that you Amazing. Need. Okay. <laughs>